So today we are setting up to do another edition of At Home with the Property Twins. Our fabulous unlicensed assistant Michaela is our camera woman and also writes a lot of our notes so that we know where, how to stay on track. And we're trying to pick out places around our home and where we can showcase our home and what we like doing and to educate you all on the process and uh, buying and selling real estate. So today, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> My name is Kirby Miranda and I'm the unlicensed assistant for Whitney Miranda with Remax Real Estate Lethbridge. So today we're going to talk about six different steps on buying a home. The first one is mortgage approval. Everyone needs to go and see a mortgage broker or their bank to get a pre-approval. And on today's market, you have to get approved at a 5.24 interest rate for a pre-approval. This is called the stress test. And the reason they do this is so that they know if the interest rates increase over the next few years, they, they know you qualify to at least pay that much money. We know how excited you all are to get out there and look at homes and find the perfect home to live in for your family. But you really need to go chat with the mortgage specialist first because, or the bank, because it just helps set expectations and so that you're not disappointed and everything goes so much smoother when you know exactly what you have to spend. So as Kirby is saying, setting a budget and knowing what you can afford is so important. Not only is there a mortgage payment that you have to consider, there are closing costs. So you have to pay your lawyer fees after you close, as well as the remainder of the property taxes for the year. And don't forget utilities. All of these things no, need to go into budgeting for you to plan to buy your home. So now you've been pre-approved, you've set a budget, you've found the perfect realtor to suit your meet needs. Now you need to set up a criteria of all the homes that you're looking for and let your realtor know. So you need to say what side of town you wanna live on, how many bedrooms, what floor plan you like, how big of a yard, all of those things make up the criteria of what we can search for to find the perfect home for you. So how this process works is you give Whitney a list of all the homes that you would like to view and you'd like to set that up about 24 hours before you actually go view them because the other folks on the other end need to prepare their home, maybe find accommodations for babysitting, all of those things. And then you also need to make sure you have have eaten before you've come, bring a water bottle, wear nice shoes to take on and off when you go actually look at these homes. Now we've looked at all the homes and sometimes you find it on the first house and sometimes you find it on the 30th house and that is okay. I am here to help you through that process. So once we find the perfect home for your family, we put in what's called an offer to purchase. So we make sure that all the items that are in the home are included in that offer. We put in terms of what we want done to the home. If we want um, the home to have the carpets cleaned or something fixed that hasn't been fixed in the home. We decide on what we want to put in as a purchase price of the home as your initial offer. Then you put in your possession dates and what your conditions are. So typically people have a finance condition, so they need to be then now hard approved from the bank, and then also a property inspection. Once the contract has been written, now the negotiations start. So I would present the purchase agreement to the other listing agent and start negotiating on the best price for my folks. And we have to do this in a timeline. There is an end time that they put on. And in this market right now, it seems like things are going quite quickly. So you might have six hours or 24 hours to make up this decision. Once the deal has been finalized, copies of all paperwork go into our different brokerages, go to our clients, go into the mortgage broker so that they can be working on the hard approval for your finance condition. Then I will give you three options of property inspectors that you can pick from and you will interview them to do a property inspection so that they can go through your home and make sure that everything is working as well as it possibly can be and to give you any warnings of anything that might not look right or if there's water issues or if the roof is gone so that we can go back to the sellers and say did you know about this and might have to renegotiate a, a better price once we go to that point. 
Once we get the approval from your mortgage broker or the bank and everything is good with the home inspection, then we remove conditions. So that means that the home is officially sold and it is yours and you'll be taking possession of it on the, the date that was been pre-decided. Now it's time for you to make sure that your down payment is all organized. Sometimes that down payment is in RSPs and it takes a little while to get out. You need to book movers, you need to set up your utilities to make sure that everything is organized for day of possession. Typically, two to 10 days before possession, you're going to meet with the lawyer and sign all the mortgage documents and chat about the land transfer title. They will also go over real property reports at this time to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. Then, 24 hours before possession, the clients and I will walk through the home and make sure that all the appliances are there, that all the there's no holes in the walls, that the home hasn't flooded, and then once everything is good, then we give the key, we give uh, approval to the lawyers so that they can release funds. Then possession day is here. So what happens on possession day is that the money is transferred and then I am given the okay from the lawyers that keys can be released. So then